Artificial intelligence, or AI, has been a topic of interest and speculation for many decades, but in recent years it has rapidly become a reality, changing the way we live, work, and interact with the world around us. AI has the power to revolutionize industries, solve complex problems, and improve our daily lives, but it also raises important ethical, legal, and social questions. AI has already started to take over a huge part of our day-to-day -day lives. Everything from assembling cars and electronics, moving shipments around warehouses, solving huge computational problems and data analytics, and even deep space physics. It's all being done by machine learning. And it goes even further than those large laborious tasks in factories. For example, that entire opening narration was written by an AI called ChatGPT, which you've likely heard about in the last few weeks. The music in the background right now, also generated by an AI, and even scarier was that entire narration wasn't recorded by me. I used a voice cloning synthesizer made by Deep Learning to mimic my voice for you. Now, there are a lot of benefits to AI. Doing repetitive jobs, reduction in human error, running 24-7, insane data analytics, but when it comes to the downsides, I don't think people are really understanding the scope of artificial intelligence as a whole. But rather than me explaining the downsides to you, I'm gonna let someone who is very much smarter than me take over. American author James Barrett, who wrote the book Our Final Invention, has a few key points about artificial intelligence that may go unnoticed. As uh, Bill Gates said a while ago, he said, in the short term, we're gonna get a lot of cool tools from AI in the long term, we could lose control of it. Now, I wonder why more people aren't worried about that. The malcontents, the people who want to use it for harm, are gonna be able to generate propaganda at a much faster rate than they ever could before. It will take jobs. There's a lot of writing jobs that ChatGPT could take tomorrow. We're dumb if we don't think our jobs are threatened, our futures are threatened, our kids' futures. The climate is threatened. You know, to train LA MDA required something like the energy output of 11,000 houses for a year. Models require massive amounts of computational resources. They consume energy at a furious rate and they generate CO2 emissions that threaten the environment. So these are not, these are not earth gentle technologies. But it doesn't stop there. These issues are just in the next few years. What James and much of the world are worried about is known as the intelligence explosion. The intelligence explosion is when an AI can teach itself faster than we can keep up and become infinitely more intelligent than us as a result. I mean, think of it like this. Our brains are limited to that of the size of a human skull, while a computer could be as big as a skyscraper, or heck, dozens of them. The issue quickly becomes not who's in control of the AI, but what is the AI in control of? For us to... Uh coexist with something a million times more intelligent than we are. And that's really the reality we're going to face. It's not going to, they're not going to have any need for us. Our, our intelligence is going to be so puny, uh, they'll have absolutely no need for us. So they, they will inevitably uh, compete for, for resources that we want. Um, they'll need energy, we need energy. Um, they'll take all the energy, we'll have nothing to say about it. It will be able to hack and crash everything in our environment, none of which it really needs. If and, and, and this isn't even it being hostile, this is just it uh, competing, just not, not understanding that we are uh, creatures worthy of, of, of value. Now, if you didn't quite get what James just said, let me sum it up for you nicely. An AI may not necessarily become malevolent and malicious and be against humanity's interest in that sense, but in the sense that it might have a misalignment, where it's so intelligent that it has its own interests that do not necessarily align with humanities. Another interesting thing Stephen Hawking said is that we'll stop understanding what they're doing. Uh, we'll, we'll stop understanding weapons that they might make. Uh, if, if, you know, when I try, if I try, if I pull out my 12 gauge shotgun and show it to my dog, I could never explain to him how it works. <laughs> As Eliezer Yukowski said, the AI doesn't love you or hate you, but you're made of atoms you can use for something else. So, are we spelling humanity's doom with the advent of artificial intelligence? I certainly hope not. It's kind of fun to use. And I mean, think about it like this. Machines that are more intelligent than us, well, they could cure diseases and unlock life's mysteries about everything we know about the universe and more. 
On the other hand, we could meet our demise with one press of a power button. All I can say for certain is that we'll have to wait and see what happens in the next few years with technological progress and time. So for now, let's head back to the studio. <laughs>